<coughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 24. The Lord Yahweh is my portion, says my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. Hmm? The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. To the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord Yahweh. All praises, honor, glory, and power to our heavenly father Yahweh and his only begotten son. The beloved of our power, the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega. His name is Yahweh Shai, the true king who is making his way. Down here, family, today's praise is going to be unto our power. Always, we're going to go through the headline news and the prophecies and give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, as we witness. Hey, this is the time, this is a beautiful time to be alive, family, to see the fall of your what? Your enemy. Hey, the collapse of society is right in front of our eyes because this is making way for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega. That is why we are here. We pray that the Lord will grant us life to witness His coming, the coming of of a true king, Yahweh Shai. There are just so many headline news to go through the family. I have few of them. Like I said, I hope this lesson is not too long. But family, when it's all said and done, I hope you are edified. Again, if I didn't say it, Shalom to the beloved of Israel, the so-called Latinos, the so-called blacks, the so-called African American, Caribbean, Barbadians, eh? Jamaicans, eh? Trinidadians, hey eh? family. This is the good news, the real good news. The fact that now we know who we are. We are the children of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Family, <clears throat> there's nothing better than it. There is nothing that anybody can do to me right now, eh? To bring my spirit down. No, sometimes we get down. But then we remember who we are. The Lord fills us with his spirit. He says, you will know the truth. Just paraphrase it. And the truth shall make you free. And now we are free indeed. As we witness the collapse of this society. Boris Johnson the government is about to collapse. That's the British Prime Minister. Eh? Inflation is all time high. Eh? The green agenda is failing. Canadian military is changing the address code. Now the men can wear skirt hmm? and they can paint their hair. They can change their hair color. Right. That's right. That's, this is what's happening in the worst. That's why Putin is just sitting back. Russia is just sitting back and waiting because Russia is about to take down the beast. It's prophesied the book of Ezekiel chapter 38. The Lord is with Russia for Russia to fulfill his will. Because at the end of the day, the Lord rose, wrote the script. Eh? Gave everybody their parts to play. As Russia builds up its military, the Canadian government and its military, they are preparing. The, 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 the most important thing is knowing your pronouns eh? and also changing the dress code. That's right. Hmm? The military men can wear skirt now. That's right. The world is changing. 
and is changing for the better. The kingdom is coming. But in order for the kingdom to come, all these things have to happen. The prophecy has to be fulfilled. As you can tell, let's go to the first article. Family, it says here. That's not the one I was looking for. But anyhow, it is... Uh, Let's go to Boris Johnson first. Family, the UK conservative plot move against PM. They didn't move against PM. This is the will of the Lord. But family, let's go to... Uh, I have some stuff here. Let's jump through it. More ministers resign as United Kingdom Prime Minister vows to fight on. Boris Johnson is facing growing calls to step down after more than two dozen. Two dozen members of his government quit. Family, everything is falling apart. Eh? We know that America came out of what? The Britain, the British, right? The little horn eh? that came out of the seven. That's uh, pursuing to Daniel chapter 7 verse 8. It says, Boris Johnson is facing growing calls to step down after more than two dozen members of his government quit. We're not going to read everything, family. You, the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been urged to step down after a dozen of his ministers and other cabinet members deserted Downing Street. At the time of writing, 15 ministers have abandoned him with five announcing their resignations in single joint letter. The resignations on Tuesday of Chancellor Rishi Sunak and Health Secretary Sajid Javid set off a tidal wave of departures from Johnson's cabinet. As of early Wednesday afternoon, the ministers of for sorry, the ministers for education, the treasury, housing, justice, business, culture, and five others have all handed in their resignations. Five ministers, including equality, sorry, yeah, equalities minister Kemi. Bidnock and Industry Minister Lee Rowley announced their departure in a joint letter to the PM. Yes, family, we give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. This is the beginning and the end of a kingdom. And this is going to be worldwide. As we speak right now, there's a huge protest in Holland. Eh? A huge protest in Holland, but majority of the mainstream media is not covering it because it's all part of the World Economic Forum, the Build Back Better. Eh? The protest is about the government going after farmers. Eh? They want to take over their lands. Eh? They claim, they're claiming that it's all to make the environment better, climate change. Eh? But we know that these people already promise you he promised the rest of the people that what you're gonna own nothing and be what happy about it, build back better, and you're gonna eat bugs and you're gonna enjoy the bugs. This is what they are saying. Family, this is not my word. This is coming out of their own mouth. You have to look it up. The World Economic Forum. The two, I think it's called that um the the 201 at uh, the 2021 agenda. But look it up. And the head of that uh, economic forum is Klaus Schwab. The elite. The family, we know that the Lord says, it says what? Let's get it. Let's go to the book of Job 5. Job 5. He disappointed, Job chapter 5 verse 12, it says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He take the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. Family, I am here to tell you in the name of our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, that, listen, these people are going to fail. Mm -hmm. Everything that they're planning on doing, oh, this build back better, eh? taking over the world, eh? making sure nobody owns nothing and be happy about it. Oh, it's going to spectacularly, it's, it's spectacularly collapse. That's what is coming. 
Because we know through this precept that after this kingdom, this kingdom, everything that is happening, the chaos on the street, it is just making way for the true king, Yahweh Shai, to come and take over his kingdom. That's right. It says the just shall live by faith. This is what we believe is about to happen. If you can't see it, it was not given to you. Let's go to the headline news. Here. Dutch farmers bring tank to fertilizer protest. Cops shoot a tractor. It says here. Dutch protesters. This is from Zero Hedge. It says Dutch protesters have taken things to the next level in the ongoing demonstrations deploying a tank against a green government scheme to reduce nitrogen and fertilizer that will see an estimated 30 percent of the country's farm shuttered the tank will presumably be used to block food distribution centers following the use of tractors for that purpose early earlier in the week Police are violently pulling down blockades one by one through the use of Romeos, which I will talk about later. Basically, police sanction Antifa. Shocking for democracy, but this is Klaus Schwab country. Here is a snapshot from the front line. This is what is happening. I mean, let's see if you can play a bit of this. Kian Bexi here live on location in the Netherlands. Right here behind me is a truck involved in a blockade, blockading distribution centers for grocery chains. They're farmers and frankly, actually, this one's not a farmer. This one's just a, a construction worker, actually, I think, that has a large truck that is joining the farmers in a protest against the globalist left-wing government run by Mark Root. Now, this government, this left-wing government, has passed a policy that has been suggested and pushed by Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum. It's a policy that will see nitrogen pollution cut in half by 2030. Now, along with cutting nitrogen pollution comes cutting farms, cutting farm production, and cutting farm jobs. Now, you can see this red handkerchief behind me. It has become a symbol of the protests here in the Netherlands. They're, they're, they're flying off the shelves at every store uh, and every protester is carrying one. Alongside these flags are uh, Dutch, uh, Dutch flags that are flying upside down uh, on every farm across the countryside. As I drove in here from Amsterdam, you could see them. Every farmer in this country is united against this government and they're blockading the distribution centers of grocery stores to let the public know exactly where their food comes from and what will happen if Mark Root, Klaus Schwab and the rest of the globalists get their way. I'm going to speak with as many uh, farmers as I can. I'm going to try and catch, capture exactly what is happening here. You can see that they've put up hay bales like this and there they actually were setting those ablaze just last night. We're going to see if that kind of protest continues on tonight. We'll see what happens. I just arrived here. It's my first day. If you want to follow along with our coverage, go to DutchUprising.com. So family, you got the gist of it. This is what is happening. And this is all making way for the true king. They say it's a matter of time. The a true king, day the and the sun will shine. Before mm -hmm. I come back to you. And I'm happy. Nothing's going to stop me. I'm making my way home. I'm making my way Okay, family, you got the gist of it. Family, we are rejoicing. Why are we rejoicing? Because we know that the end is very close. Because this is all boils back to what? Their green agenda. But the funny thing is, family, because of the sanctions on Russia, Russian gas and Russia crude oil, now all of a sudden, they are back to the old daddy, coal. Hey? Coal. Now they are starting 
uh, let's read that. It's a call emerges victorious as sanctions and green policies backfire spectacularly. Hmm? These are the people ruling. The Lord told us that he's going to have them in direction. Family, that's why we sit back and give an honor, to, uh, honor and glory power to Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh shine. Here it says, call emerges victorious. Eh? As sanctions and green policies backfire spectacularly. When historians look back on this chaotic and turbulent period, they will find that few individuals inflicted as much damage on the environment and promoted the interests of the dirty fossil fuel lobby as Greta Thunberg, who, by shaming and forcing serious politicians to pivot toward green energy at a time when there was nowhere near enough green capacity to replace existing source of energy, sparked what may be the most spectacular self-owned in history. And today, the Washington Post, no, is it Washington Street Journal, Bloomberg, and rulers all wrote about it. We start with the WSJ. I think that's Washington, is it? What's WSJ? Something journal. See, I think it's not Washington. Um, it's leaving me now. What is? Anyhow, I'll go back to it. It's. W S I it's, it's, I gotta find out. It's Washington. Oh, sorry, it's Wall Street Journal. Excuse me. It's yeah. And today, the Wall Street Journal, Bloom, Bloomberg, and Routers all wrote about it. We start with the Wall Street Journal, which concedes what was obvious, obvious to most long ago. It says here, namely that an energy-starved world is turning to coal as natural gas and oil shortages exacerbated by Russia's war against Ukraine lead countries back to the dirtiest fossil fuel. The Lord told you. Let's get the family. We are here to glorify our power. Yahweh Bahashem. It says here, uh, Psalm chapter 2. It says, why do the heathen rage? Hmm? And the people imagine a vain thing. Family, at one point, they said, listen, man, everybody's going to have what, what do we call a, um, uh, why the, where everything's leaving me? Oh, um, we're going to have solar panels. We're going to have solar pa panels on our roofs, eh? Wind turbine to produce a, what? Electricity, power. Family, look at the size of the planet. That's why the Lord, the Lord look at these people and laugh at them. He says, why do they even rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Hmm? This so-called green agenda. Yes, it is a vain thing. He says, the kings of the earth, the rulers of this king, this kingdom, he says, set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord Yahweh and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cause from us. He that sits in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. In derision. The Lord is just laughing at this clown's family. You have no idea how this world was established. Eh? But these are the agenda. This, this is why the World Economic Forum, they talk about what? They talk about the build back better. You're going to own nothing. Eh? And be happy about it. You're going to eat bugs beyond meat and all this strange stuff that they've been talking about. But family, we are at peace because we know that our Lord is the one controlling them. That's why we give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The Lord is exposing their hypocrisy. Eh? The Lord is putting them on blast, telling you that he told you that he gave this kingdom to who? Let's let's glorify the Lord because it's all about him. Uh, Daniel 4. No, Daniel is it 4 7? 17. Here it says, This matter is by the decree of the watches and the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the most high Yahweh ruleth in the kingdom of men. So your prime minister, your president, the Lord put them there. He says, and give it, it to whomsoever he will, and setteth up over it the basis 
of men. Let's look up that word just for also you know the type of people rolling over you. Let's look up basis. Hmm? It says without moral hmm? principle, eh? ignoble, eh? detonating or befitting a person of low social class. This is what the Lord. These are the, the people that the Lord put to rule over you. Eh? Don't let the, the three-piece suit and the tie and everything, don't let it fool you. No, don't let it fool you. The Lord, this is what the Lord is saying. Basis of men. These are the people that he put in rulership. That's why he's telling you that one. Envy not the oppressor and choose none of his way. He says, envy not the oppressor. Why is the Lord telling you not to envy him? Because he's telling you that he has no morals. He's nobody. That's what the Lord is telling you. Never to listen to him. When he tells you to put what? Something under your skin. He tells you, don't listen to him. That's what the Lord is telling you. He says the basis of men. These are the people that the Lord has put in place to rule. Boris Johnson. Trudeau. Look at all these clowns. These are the people ruling over you. We're going to wait on our power. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Joe Biden. Come on. Come on. These are the people ruling over us. Our job is to wait. The Lord has opened our eyes now. He has given us this truth, this gospel. We're going to wait on our Lord. And he's going to deliver us. He sent his only begotten son. The king of Israel. Coming in, coming with the cloud. The chariot. To beam us out of this place. Lord willing. He's the one we're waiting on. Let's continue and give honor and glory to our power. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Here it says here. Let's see if we can read a bit of it. Yes, contrary to the intentions of green fanatics everywhere. They are pushed to accelerate away from dirty fossil fuel has not only backfired spectacularly, but also exposed the hypocrisy and empty promises of so many virtue signalers. As from the US to Europe to China, many of the world's largest economies are increasing short-term coal purchases to ensure sufficient supplies of electricity, despite prior pledges by many countries to reduce their coal consumption to combat climate change. You hear that? Envy not thy oppressor. The Lord says he's going to have them in derision. Laughing at them. Their plans are going to fail. They are basis of men. They are the one in rulership right now. Remember Job 9.24? It says what? The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The wicked are in rulership. Malachi 1 4 tells you who the wicked is. The Edom, the so called white people. Family, this is the word the book says. It's not my word. It's what the book said. That's why we're here to give honor and glory to our power. Here, when you know that the, 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 this society is collapsing, hmm, it, tells, it tells you the people ruling are what? They have no morals. Eh? Everything that pops in their head, that's what they do. They, that's what they do. They do everything contrary to the book. These are the adversary. Adversary means what? Satan. Hmm? It says here, U.S. lawmaker twerks in campaign video. State senator. Hmm? This is America. A state senator. Tiara Mark of Rhode Island also sponsored a bill aimed at teaching children about sexual pleasure. Hmm? If you can see this society collapsing, the Lord didn't want you. Hmm. That's right. This place is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. And if our memory serves right, we know what the Lord did to Sodom and Gomorrah. It is going to be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. When this place here, when the, when the fire starts, oh, it's going to be worse. That's what is coming. It's a state senator, Tiara, 
Mark of Rhode Island also sponsored a bill aimed at teaching children about sexual pleasure. Rhode Island State Senator Tyra Mark, a Democrat, released a campaign video on Monday in which she performs an upside-down Turk and calls for vote. Mark called the conservative reaction to her stunt unhinged. In the video posted to TikTok, a bikini-clad Mark stands on her head and shakes her buttocks before asking viewers to vote. Senator Mark. That's right. These are the people mm, making decisions about your children, mm, teaching children about sexual pleasure. We can wait for this place to go down. We're praying for the Lord to bring judgment every day. The vision was for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. The Lord said it. He says, although it tarry, it says what? Wait for it. Although it's too long, you make it seem like it's too long because back in 1999 to 2000, they saw the world was coming to an end and a lot of people left the faith. It tarry, the Lord said, although it tarry, it says, wait for it. It says, at the end, it will, it will do what? It shall speak and not lie. Eh? Although it tarry, it says, wait for it. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. Just paraphrasing. This is what is happening. Everything is collapsing. A senator is twerking and telling you that, yeah. That's what the Lord says. What? Moral. These people, they have no morals. That's why we can't wait for the Lord to destroy this place. And establish righteousness. That's what we want. True righteousness. Eh? That's what we want. And it's coming. Oh, it's fast. It, oh, it's fast approaching. Oh, don't get it twisted. It is coming. Oh, collapse society is collapsing. This is another one here. Violent protests erupt over demands of European Union neighbor. The French led compromise solution between North Macedonia and Bulgaria has angered Macedonian nationals. Nationalists, sorry. Nearly 50 police officers were injured overnight on Wednesday and violent protests in North Macedonia, the country's interior ministry, has said. Thousands of people have rallied nightly in the capital city of Skopje since the weekend in protest of French proposal for compromise with neighboring Bulgaria and lift the roadblock Sofia had put on North Macedonia. EU accession process. So as you can tell, family, this place is far is collapsing. Oh, family, we cannot wait. I think we went through this already. More ministers resigns as UK PM vows to fight on. No, you're not fighting on. You are gonna resign. Boris Johnson is about to step down. He will. Oh, he will. He will step down. He will step. But this guy is a clown. You know. CERN, scientists dig deeper into universe uh, secrets. Large Hadron Collider faces discovered three new types of exotic particles. These people are so concerned about discovering how the Earth was formed. And the scientists have discovered three exotic types of particles in a step closer to unraveling how the universe works. The European Nuclear Research Center CERN said on Tuesday, the question again is why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? You are never going to figure this out because it was not given to you. Don't worry. When we go back into rulership, which is fast approaching, don't worry. We will tell you if we choose to. But then again, you're going to be in slavery. Why? We would not even be talking to you. We wouldn't be talking to you. Yeah, these people, they just imagine a vain thing, you know. Their plans are not going to work. Everything is collapsing right in front of their eyes. As you, I think I mentioned this already. Canadian military to allow skirts and hair coloring for soldiers. Changes to the dress code were long overdue, the authorities say. It's a Canada has introduced changes in the, in the nation's military dress code, allowing service members to have long nails, hmm, face tattoos, and to dye their hair 
the new rules also permit men to wear skirts. Finally, these are these are the people. This they are, Canada is part of NATO, and they're about to go against Russia. Hmm? That's right. These are the people that are gonna go and fight against Russia. <laughs> oh, call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kodash. It's gonna be beautiful, family. It's gonna be beautiful. The third war. That's what we're waiting for. The third war. The third war. The third world war. Mentioned in Revelation 8. The third war, family, it is coming. But yes. The Canadian servicemen can wear no long nails, face tattoos, and uh, dye their hair. And the men can put on skirts. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Family, all this is making way for the true kingdom. That's what it's all about. But when we see these things happening, family, we rejoice and give honor to our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Family, we, the Lord has given us like almost like 10 steps. Eh? Put some springs like we feel like we can jump. Eh? Our eyes are wide open. We're seeing things popping from every angle. Eh? We see it clearly. The vision is here. Society is collapsing. Family, nothing is working for them. Here you are thinking about, okay, in 2030, everything is going to go green. Now all of a sudden here, you turn on the coal plant. Yeah. Eh? Now you're investing in coal again. This is the Lord. He told you that he's going to have them in duration. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine the vain thing? It is done because the Lord set a time for them to rule and their time has come. That's why they are losing their mind. They're trying to force things uh, in, but it's not happening. You put all the sanctions on Russia and Russia is making more money than they can find people to count the money. And that is the Lord. That's why we give him glory. He says in Isaiah 46, 10, he says what? I will do all my pleasure. He says, my counsel shall stand. Whatever the Lord said, family, that's what's going to happen. Not what a man says. He says in this book, his son, his only begotten son is coming to redeem the his elect. The Israelite, the 12 tribes of Jacob. He says he's, he's coming. If he says it, he's come, he is coming. So if some people don't believe, let them be family. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. This is making way for the true king. Let's finish off with the book of Tobit, family. The book of Tobit. This is the prayer. Tobit pray for the elect Israel. Then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said, Blessed be the power that liveth forever and blessed be his kingdom. Mm, which is coming. For he doth scourge and have mercy. He leaveth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Are you listening to this? Look at what he did to us. And we are the apple of his eyes. But what Tobit is saying is what? He says he leaveth down to hell. Hell is conditioned in the grave. Hmm? It's not a place where somebody burned forever. That's the Christian doctrine. It's a condition. Look at the condition that our people in living in the ghetto, you know, strung out on drugs and, you know, barely making hands meet. That is hell. That's, that's a hell. That's hell, family. Diabetes, blood pressure, high blood pressure. People can't even afford their medication. And our people are fat, overweight. These are the conditions. That's hell. But he says what? He's going to restore us again. Finally, what is coming for the elect man? This is, that's what the Lord said. Eyes have not seen or ears have not heard what the Lord has prepared for his elect. No, man. This is not our permanent condition. No, 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 no. We're only here to serve our punishment and the time has come. That's why the elect are ready. We are, we are ready. So put on as the elect. Think of yourself as being saved. Have the faith and believe that the king is going to save you. He says here, For he doth scourge and have mercy. He leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Confess him before the Gentiles, yea, children of Israel. For he hath scattered us among them. Are you listening to this? The Lord scattered us among these nations. Eh? 
That's why at one point we're trying to come together. We can never come together. The same one that's uh, scattered us among this nation, he's the same one that's about to send his only begotten son. That's why he's known as the Redeemer. Redeemer. Martin Luther King is not going to redeem you. Malcolm S is not going to redeem you. Nobody's going to redeem you. The only Redeemer is Yahweh Shai. He says, for he does scourge and have mercy. He leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Confess him before the Gentiles. Yea, children of Israel. For he hath scattered us among them. There declare his greatness. You see here? That's why we are here. We are still among our, uh, uh, our, ca our, our captives. Yeah. Eh? They are still ruling over us, but here we are. We are still in our captivity, and we are confessing our, the name of our power, Yahweh Bahashem. That alone is prophecy right there. It says, there declare, his, there, declare his greatness. The Lord is great indeed. Because he told us that in the land of our captivity, we shall remember ourselves and call upon his name. And isn't that what we are doing right now? It says, before all living, for it's our Lord. It says, there declare his greatness and install him before all the living. For he is our Lord, and he is the power, our Father forever. And he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again. Isn't that what he's about to do? He's going to have mercy on us again. Although we are the one that went off and he punishes and he's the same. That's how a father is. You have children, they go off, you want to kill them, sometimes you slap them, and then you feel sometimes you go a little heavy on them, and then you're like, hmm, maybe I should have slowed down a bit. And you feel bad, you know, and then you bring them in. Listen, you know I love you, right? That's why I did A, B, C. You know, I don't want you to hang out with this person, you know. You know, that's what a father does. He scourged and he still have mercy. Eh? That's what the Lord did to us. He sent us into these nations, said we serve these nations as slaves. But now, he's gathering us by the word of our power, Yahweh Ba'ashev. The word is bringing everybody back in. And then Yahweh Shai is going to show up. And he's going to beam us into the chariot. It's a beautiful story, family. It says, and he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again. And will gather us out of all nations among whom he have scattered us. If ye turn to him with your whole heart, and with your whole mind and deal uprightly before him, then will he turn unto you and will not hide his face from you. Therefore, see what he will do with you and confess him with your whole mouth and praise the Lord of might and extol the everlasting king. In the land of my captivity do I praise him and declare his mighty, his might and majesty to a sinful nation. O ye sinners, turn and do justice before him, who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? I will extol my power, and my soul shall praise the King of heaven and shall rejoice in his greatness. Let all men speak, and let all praise him for his righteousness. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, where people before a place, family, wherever we are, that's Jerusalem. Eh? Three or four people among us, that's Jerusalem. It says, The holy city, he will scourge thee. For the children, sorry, oh Jerusalem, the holy city, he will scourge thee for thy children's work and will have mercy again on the sons of the righteous. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good, and praise the everlasting King, Yahweh Shai, that his tabernacle may be built in thee again with joy, and let him make joyful there in thee those that are captives, and love in thee forever. Those that are miserable. Many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord power with gifts in their hand, even gifts to the king of heaven. All generations shall praise thee with great joy. This is the kingdom of heaven. All these nations are going to come because we have to teach them the laws. The laws are going to be automatically in our heart pursuing to Jeremiah 33. Is it Jeremiah 33? Let's pass well get it. And then we'll go back. Jeremiah 33. Is it 33 or 31? Is it 31? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. It's Jeremiah 31, verse 31. It says, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, because we know that we couldn't keep that covenant. It says here, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, said the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Listen to this family. He says, after those days, hmm, after all, everything has gone down, the tribulation, eh? because we know that with much tribulation, we're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. But here, it says here, after those days, says the Lord. I'll put my law in their inward part. The laws are going to be written inside their family and write it in their mind, their heart meaning their mind family, and will be their power. And they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, you Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. Boom! The Lord is not going to remember our sins anymore. We don't have to teach my brother. I don't have to teach my sister because what? Automatically, it's going to be in their heart. Our children, when they are born, everything is in their heart. This is what is coming. Let's go back to um, here. Uh, Tobit 13. Many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord, power, with gifts in their hands, even gifts to the King of heaven. All generations shall praise thee with great joy. Cursed are all they which hate thee, and blessed shall all be which love thee forever. Rejoice and be glad for the children of the just, for they shall be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the just. O blessed are they which love thee, for they shall rejoice in thy peace. Blessed are they which have been sorrowful for all thy scourges, for they shall rejoice for thee when they have seen all thy glory. And shall be glad forever. Let my soul bless the Most High, the Great King. For Jerusalem shall be built with sapphire. Family, listen to this. I always love reading this thing. It says here, Toby 13. It says, Jerusalem. Toby 13, verse 16. It says, For Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stone, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. And the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with barrel and carbuncle and stones of a fear. Oh my goodness. Family, can you imagine what our place is going to look like, Jerusalem, when we return? Whew. <laughs> it says, all his street shall say, Alleluia, and they shall praise him, saying, Blessed be our power, which have extolled it forever. Family, that has been the headline news and prophecy. So as we see things collapsing right in front of our eyes, we are rejoicing, calling upon our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kodash. Because we know that the vision was for an appointed time, and at the end it shall speak. It says, although it tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come, and it shall not tarry. Family, isn't that what is happening? I don't want to butcher it, but I might as well get it and finish off with that. Let's go to the book of Habakkuk. It says, and the Lord answered me, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2, it says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables, meaning the book, that he may run that readeth it. It says here, this is the point. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, it says, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Yeah, that's right. Canadian soldiers are going to be, men are allowed to wear skirts, you know, you can wear long nails. Hmm? A senator is turking to get votes. Uh, Boris Johnson, a uh, cabinet member, 12, actually no, 24, cabinet member resigned. Family, that has been the headline news and prophecy. Their system is collapsing because the Lord set a bound for them and they can't pass it. This is the beginning of the end of a kingdom. And the righteous kingdom is coming, Yahweh Shai's kingdom. With that, I will say shalom to all the beloved, all the men out there pushing this word, the word of truth, the true gospel, the good news. 
glorifying our power, Yahweh Barashem, Yahusha, who say shalom to them, and also shalom to the brothers and the sisters, taking heed and trying to you know, turn their lives around and waiting on their everlasting King, Yahweh Shai. Shalom, shalom, shalom. It's your brother Malak. I hope you were, you were edified. I hope you were comforted. We thank the Musa, Yahweh, again for this beautiful, beautiful song that he has put in our mouth. And this is what is going to lead us into the kingdom, Lord willing. Shalom, beloved.